Hi guys, in this video we will show you how to install Windows 10 on an external SSD on your Mac. If you don't have much hard disk space on your Mac, or you just want to run some Windows 10 games and apps on your Mac, then I am going to show you the whole process step by step, and this is the end result. Okay, so things you will need are an external SSD. I am using a Samsung 512GB SSD attached with a SATA to USB adapter. You can get it off Amazon for around 10 bucks. I will put a link in the description below. You can also use a Seagate hard drive and even an old laptop hard drive if you have one laying around. If you have a newer Mac, you can also get the USB-C to SATA adapter, Amazon link below as well. Or you could just buy a new Samsung USB-C SSD like this one. You might need a USB mouse and keyboard initially till you get the drivers working correctly and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, let's get started. Open up Safari and go to the 123myit.com website and click on Downloads. Scroll down to where it says Install Windows 10 on a Mac and click the first link which says Download Windows 10. On that page in the drop down box select Windows 10 and Confirm and then choose your language in the second drop down box. Next, click on 64 bit and that will download the Windows 10 ISO file. The file is fairly big so it might take some time to download. You can check it in your downloads. I've already downloaded these files so I will just cancel them. Close that tab and download the Win to USB file next. Again, close that tab and then download the VMware Fusion. Okay, so you should see all three downloads in your downloads folder now. The next step is to download the Windows support folder. So quit Safari and go into the finder and search for bootcamp. Start up Bootcamp and then on the action menu at the top, click on download Windows support software. Just change the where menu to downloads, that way all your downloads are in the same spot. Go ahead and click save, I've already got mine downloaded so I'm just going to press cancel. And then go ahead and close the Bootcamp assistant. Ok now it's time to plug in your SSD or external hard drive. Just make sure you have no data on the SSD that you need as the next step will delete any data on that drive. Close the drive and then click on Go, Utilities and then Disk Utility. Highlight your external drive and click Erase. I'm going to rename it as Boot Camp and change the format to MS-DOS FAT. This will make it recognisable in Windows. Click Don't Use and then Done. And then Close Disk Utility. Next you want to run the VMware installer file that you downloaded earlier. So click on Go and Downloads and open up the VMware installer file. If you get this message saying the VMware file can't be opened, go into System Prefs and open up Security and Privacy. Click on the General tab, unlock your padlock and enter in your password and then click on Open Anyway. Click Open and close the Security and Privacy window. Double click to install VMware. Click Open. Type in your password, click open, agree to the terms, put a dot in the I want to try VMware Fusion. You can use the software for 30 days which is more than we need, however if you like the software you can always buy it. Click OK and OK again and then open system preferences, unlock your padlock and give VMware the access it needs.
It wants to install from disk or image, so click go and then downloads and drag the Windows 10 ISO file you downloaded earlier to the VMware menu. And then click continue to proceed. You are setting up a new virtual machine here, so you need to click on the drop down menu and select Windows 10 Home. Click continue and then continue without a key. And then click more isolated now you can click finish, or if you want to customize the virtual machine, click customize settings. Then click save. Okay, to customize the install, click on processes and memory. I am going to give it a little bit more memory from two gigabyte to four gigabyte. That should be enough. All right, you can close that window now and click on play to start Windows. If you get the broken pipe errors, go back into system preferences, security and privacy. Open up your padlock again, go into the general tab and then click allow again. Click OK. Close your padlock, close the security and privacy window, restart your VMware. Go ahead and press play again and it should start your Windows install now. Awesome, that's going to take a while. I will speed up the install here. This is not installing Windows 10 on your external drive just yet. We are setting up a virtual machine which will allow us to install Windows on the external drive. Okay, so Windows has finished installing. Click on the Go menu and then click Downloads and copy the Win to USB and Windows Support folder onto your Windows desktop. I could drag the Win to USB file, but I had to right click and copy and paste the Windows Support folder to get it to copy across. Now let's connect our external SSD to our Windows Virtual Machine. You want to go up to Virtual Machine, USB and Bluetooth, find your bootcamp drive and then add it. So it's gone on the Mac side now, and there it is on the Windows side. Now go back to the Virtual Machine, click CD, DVD, and then choose Disk or Image. And then choose your Windows 10 ISO file, click open, then go back to your virtual machine, select CD DVD, and then connect CD DVD. It should then also pop up. Okay, so all the groundwork is done. It's time to create the Windows 10 external drive. And the Windows Support folder has just finished copying across. The next thing you want to do is double click on the Win to USB executable and follow the install prompts. So click Yes, then click English OK, accept the agreement, and then Next, Next, and then Install. And then click Finish. If you get Microsoft Edge popping up, just go ahead and close it. It does it a few times. Now you want to launch the Win to USB shortcut. It's the one with the little arrow on it. Click OK on the pop-up. Click your CD DVD drive. Close Microsoft Edge again. And in the drop-down menu, select your Windows disk. And then choose Windows 10 Home. Click Next. And then select your destination. 
So this will be your external drive. Okay, here's an important bit. If you have an older Mac like mine, select the MBR for BIOS. If you have a newer Mac, then select GPT for UFI. If you select the wrong option here, when you start your Mac, your audio might not work. Don't worry, simply come back to this step and select the correct method for your Mac. Okay, this part shows you how your external drive will be partitioned. There's no changes here, so just hit next to start. This part will take a long time, especially if you have an older SATA drive. This will take at least 15 minutes or more. This process will now install Windows 10 on your external drive, and you'll be able to boot into that drive shortly. Once that is complete, just hit exit, and then yes to quit. All right. Open up Windows Explorer and click on the newly created Win to USB drive. And you want to drag the Windows support folder into that drive. Once that's copied across, you can shut down your virtual machine because you are done here. So restart your Mac, and you want to hold down the Alt Option key when your Mac starts up. This is so you can select the external drive to boot. If you're on a newer Mac, you can use the Command R to access the startup security utility. Once that starts up, go into Utilities and Startup Security Utility. If you're on a newer Mac, then you might have to enter in a password here. Otherwise, if you're on older Macs, just close that menu. On newer Macs, select the No Security checkbox and also the Allow Booting from External Media. This will allow you to boot to your external Windows drive. All right, click Close on Mac OS Utilities window and select Choose Startup Disk. You can see our SSD drive starting to flash in the background. Go ahead and select your Win to USB external drive and this will set the external drive to boot into by default. If for some reason it doesn't boot, restart your Mac and hold down the Alt Option key again. And go ahead and select your external USB drive from the menu. It should then start booting into Windows for the very first time. Select your region and follow the setup prompts. If your trackpad doesn't work, try using the USB mouse and keyboard that I mentioned at the start of the video. If your keyboard is not working, you can open up the on-screen keyboard by clicking the icon in the bottom left of the screen. I don't need a password, and we're going to turn all this stuff off as you don't need that. Click No and Not Now. Okay, cool. We are now running Windows from the external drive. The next step is to get the Windows drivers installed. You can do this by opening up Windows Explorer and going to your Win to USB C drive. Go into the Windows Support folder, go into the Bootcamp folder and run the setup file. Then just follow the prompts and restart Windows. If you open up Device Manager, you can see the drivers being installed. Go ahead and click Finish and Restart. When you are back up, open up your Device Manager again and check any drivers that have not installed properly. You can see the audio driver has not installed correctly. Let's add our Wi-Fi password first. Okay, if we right click an update driver, and if that doesn't work, we can run the Windows updates. So just click check for updates. This will take some time. 
Click restart now. Okay, once you have done the updates and restarted the Mac, check to see if your keyboard buttons all work on the Mac. So I test the display brightness, the audio volume and the keyboard brightness. You can see here that the audio is still not working, so there are two more things that you can do to get this working. Open up your device manager again, go back into your audio device, right click and go to update driver. Click on browse my computer for drivers and then click the browse button. Navigate to your Windows support folder on the C drive. Click on the WinPE driver folder and then click OK and click Next and do this for any other drivers that you have outstanding. If you still have drivers that aren't working, go into the Start menu and right at the top you should have Apple Software Update. Click that and run it. It's going to search the web and find any updates that are necessary, so just go ahead and install them. It will ask you to restart, just go ahead and do that. If you are still having issues with your sound, then you have an older Mac and you should have selected the MBR for BIOS option when setting up the external drive. So head back to the 10 minute mark of the video. Here's a tip as well, if you have selected GPT for Eufy, then you will have an EFI boot drive. However, if you have selected MBR for BIOS, then you will have a Windows boot drive. Cool, we have restarted now, and if you check your buttons, they should all be working. If you check your device manager, you shouldn't have any outstanding drivers to install. Awesome, so you're ready to go now. You can install Windows games and apps on your external SSD and let the fun begin. You can also set up an Xbox controller to play games with. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as Apple iPad 8th Gen 2020. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.